Avoiding catastrophes like this is easy when you know what you're doing, but if you don't know what you're doing, we're going to show you how to correctly TIG weld properly on both thick and thin material so that you get perfect looking welds every single time. So this video is a follow on from the weave technique which we used to cap the last video, I'll leave a link in the description, and this video we're going to split the runs using 150 amps to complete this run. So all that we're trying to do is keep this run nice and consistent and straight. So on this video, as you can see, we're only covering half of the previous run and we're also fusing into one side only so we're going from the left side first and the aim of this is just to fuse into the previous run but because we're doing multi-run passes we are going to have to be consistent keeping a nice straight line when we go up the joint so moving on to the second run we've now switched sides so we're working from the right hand side of the plate fusing into the previous run on the left hand side being careful to ensure that we keep that 15 degree sharp angle and the fillet size of the weld exactly the same size as the previous. This is going to maintain the same welding profile throughout the whole joint. If a hand wasn't steady when we were going up it would be impossible to keep the same welding profile. You also have to be very conscious not to overheat the material as we're going to show you in the next part of the video what happens when you actually overheat the material. So the main tips for a vertical T fillet, try and keep your hand as steady as possible and each fillet should also be equal. Just like here where there's an even ripple formation, the leg lengths are consistent and it's fused into both sides of the plate. So we decided to have a little fun with this next part. What we're actually going to do is we're going to overheat the material, we're going to do it in two runs and we're going to try and control the heat input using 140 amps on 3 mil plate. Don't try this at home. Root run complete, we're now going to move on to the second run and we're going to put a slight weave on and try and fuse into both sides of the plate. As you can see the 3 millimeter plate doesn't like it already. And now we've got some explaining to do. If you enjoyed this video, check out this playlist you can see on the screen now. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in that next video.